Before discussing the elements of a personal essay, it is important to note that it is different from other formal writing. The personal essay is usually based on personal experience through which you have grown or changed. Differing from formal writing, a personal essay does not have to prove anything. It is a story with a significant personal meaning. Personal essays will have a central theme, this is what the essay is about, or the larger sense. For example, Orwell's essay, Shooting an Elephant, tells the story of the author shooting an elephant, even though it was unnecessary. However, thematically, the essay is about maintaining power, saving face, and acting under pressure. So even though there isn't any proving going on, personal essays will have a central theme, some universal truth to which anyone can relate. An epiphany is a moment of sudden realization or awareness of the truth. It represents a reflective aha moment in the essay. A personal narrative may contain multiple epiphanies in varying degrees. A good example of this comes from George Orwell's Shooting an Elephant. It says, And suddenly I realized that I should have to shoot the elephant after all. The people expected it of me, and I had got to do it. I could feel their two thousand wills pressing me forward irresistibly. And it was at this moment, as I stood there, with the rifle in my hands, that I first grasped the hollowness, the futility of the white man's dominion in the East. The speaker suddenly realizes that he has to shoot the elephant because the people had more power over him than he did. In his effort to not look foolish, he realizes that he has become their puppet. Most personal narratives will not contain horror movie-like tension. However, try to write in a way that keeps your reader wanting to know what will happen next. If your readers already know how everything is going to turn out from the first paragraph, why should they continue? Another great example from Orwell's essay is this passage. If I had got to shoot the elephant, to come all that way, rifle in hand, with two thousand people marching at my heels, and then to trail feebly away, having done nothing, no, that was impossible. The crowd would laugh at me, and my whole life, every white man's life in the East, was one long struggle not to be laughed at. But I did not want to shoot the elephant. I watched him beating his bunch of grass against his knees with that preoccupied grandmotherly air that elephants have. It seemed to me that it would be murder to shoot him. In this, Orwell keeps suspense by having an internal battle about whether to shoot the elephant or not. It makes the reader want to read on, to figure out what actually happens. As with fiction, a personal narrative works towards a climatic event, a turning point or moment of action to which the narrative builds. This is the highest point of tension in an essay. In Orwell's story, the climax comes when he shoots the elephant. After the internal argument he had, he shoots the elephant. Sometimes the climax can also result in a moment of epiphany. When I pulled the trigger, I did not hear the bang or feel the kick. One never does when a shot goes home. But I heard the devilish roar of glee that went up from the crowd. In that instant, in too short a time, one would have thought, even for the bullet to get there, a mysterious, terrible change had come over the elephant. In a personal essay, you are not trying to make yourself appear always cool and in control. Instead, effective personal essays will reveal moments of vulnerability or weakness, moments w when you or the circumstances weren't the best. Honesty is the key, even, perhaps especially, if that honesty is revealing or a little hard to admit. But remember, you are in charge of how much you reveal, and you should not violate another person's privacy by revealing sensitive information about him or her. In our example, Orwell's motivation for killing the elephant is an example of self-honesty. He remarks after he had done the deed, And afterwards I was very glad that the coolie had been killed. It put me legally in the right, and it gave me a sufficient pretext for shooting the elephant. I often wondered whether any of the others grasped that I had done it solely to avoid looking a fool. He knew it was wrong, but did it anyway because he was afraid of how he would look if he didn't. When writing your personal narrative, your job is to create the sensory images and emotions of your experience so that your reader knows what you saw, 
felt, and thought. Make the reader feel what you felt, see what you saw, and experience the important details. Staying rooted in concrete detail is the best way to accomplish this. Using metaphors is a great tool. Orwell uses detail well when he describes the elephant eating grass. I watched him beating his bunch of grass against his knees with that preoccupied grandmotherly air that elephants have. He compares the elephant with the grandmother, two very concrete details, so his audience can see what he feels, that this elephant is innocent and harmless. The second example describes the elephant after being shot. He was breathing very rhythmically with long, rattling gasps, his great mound of a side painfully rising and falling. His mouth was wide open. I could see far down into caverns of pale pink throat. This example describes in honest, very raw details everything that was happening. So we not only see the scene exactly, but we also feel the vulnerability of the elephant and the man. Make your details work for you. Choose the ones that layer your mood naturally with the scene. The people in your narrative, especially yourself, need to come alive and seem like real and interesting people. Use dialogue or mentioning a quirky character trait goes a long way in creating a three-dimensional character, as opposed to a flat, boring character who appears like a puppet in your story. However, not every person who shows up in your narrative will require characterization. Only give detail to the most important subjects. The essay's theme should have some element to which people can relate. The readers should be able to see themselves and their own experiences, to a certain extent, in the story. Orwell was afraid of what people would think of him if he didn't shoot the elephant. Most of us have never and will never shoot an elephant, but we can relate to the pressure to act in certain ways to avoid looking weak or foolish. Although shooting an elephant is a very rare act, Orwell's essay contains ideas and themes to which we can all relate. Since personal narrative deals with telling stories, the organization is chronological, events occurring in a particular sequence. Sometimes writers play with time by starting at the end and then backtracking, but some form of time is usually the organizational principle. In Shooting an Elephant, Orwell uses the introduction to briefly explain the setting and the people he worked with, and then he goes on in chronological order. This is good use of organization for a personal essay. Overall, a personal essay is a chance for you to put into written words an event that haunts, fascinates, excites, softens, depresses, or pleases you. Something distinct, either positively or negatively, that you think might be of help to you or someone else by writing the experience down. And the more honest you can be when writing the experience down, the more it will help you, the more it will reach those who read it. So be honest and be successful. Good luck.